Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. We're going into the store. Let's get in here. Hi, thank you. What is up all my thrift store junkies? Y'all, we ended up going to a couple yard sales. Only one Goodwill, guys, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I ended up getting at these yard sales at first, guys. So we ended up getting all these video games. I paid 15 bucks for all these. We got, uh, and you really can't see it, Resident Evil. Hopefully I can zoom in on the video. Resident Evil with the uh, Origins Collection. Got Seven Days to Die, which I've never heard of this game, but you know what, let's get this money, y'all. I figured this could bring in at least 15 to 10. And then we also got uh, Samurai Warriors 4 Empires. I already know, I, I could see people wanting this video game. Uh, Resident Evil, that's Resident Evil 6 right there, guys. You already know that's a 10 to 15. One more here, and we got Dying Light, which I think I've played this game with my brother before. This game is pretty crazy, y'all. You already know this is going to bring in some money. At least a good 15 to t uh, $10 for this one. This is what I end up getting at Goodwill, guys. This one right here is a newer one, but I've already sold these before. Look at this graphic right in the front. This is a size medium, guys. This one was $4.99. Grave Digger, you already know. This brings in some bread. Uh, I've already sold these before. And uh, what year is this right here? We got 2018 on there. Uh, 20 to $15 for that. This is a size large, $3.99, guys. I believe this is the FTP tee. Don't, I don't know, y'all be the judge of this right here, but I just love that graphic that it had right there in the front. It's got the Uzi. Yeah, I don't know, you guys out there who know a little bit more about this, y'all let me know. Did I get a real one right here or I get some Fugazi, guys? Easily make about uh, 15 to $20 just for this, uh, not even knowing if it's an FTP. All right, hopefully this angle is a little bit better. The lighting is not the greatest, guys, but I want to show you guys while uh, my wife and my daughter are in the store getting things, guys. I end up, I think I paid, uh, it was $5 each for these, guys. It's brand new sealed still. It's for the ultra slim uh, controllers. It has a charging system and also comes included with two rechargeable battery packs and AC adapters. You already know this is going to bring in at least a good 20 to $25 just for this here. I got two of them, guys. You already know. This here was a dollar uh, Super Mario, uh, Paper Mario, actually. You already know. Y'all see the game right there. Guys, this is going to bring in at least a good 15 to 20 for this video game alone. And we got uh, Wii Resorts. You already know this is bringing in at least a good 10 to 15 just for this. And we paid a dollar for it. The case is not the greatest, but you know what? It's going to bring some money in still. And uh, this was $3. The other one that I have for the PS3 controller is right up in the front. I did not grab it. But this right here is at least bringing in a good $15. Once all nice and cleaned up, you already know. This at a yard sale was uh, $2. Super cool graphics. Not vintage, but y'all can see right there. This is a super cool piece right in the front. And then check out the back. It's got their names right here. Uh, super cool piece with the tie-dye look. Little splash look to it. Got this jersey for a dollar. Uh, Irving. It is stained, but you already know I get the stains out with the awesome. Shout outs to Anima Vestra Vintage. You already know. Shout outs to y'all guys. Yo, what's up guys? Tuesday, July 19th here. And today we're gonna to be doing a little stain removal on some teas we've had sitting. We're gonna show you guys, start to finish, see what we got. Uh, Irving on the back, you already know. Nice little piece, guys. Got a little nice leather patch right there as well. My lighting is horrible right now, guys, but you know what, let's get it. Let's make sure this video keeps rolling. This was $2 at a yard sale. Super good hoodie for Nike. Nice uh, Nike right in the front. Super big piece right in the back, guys. Let's get this money. This should at least bring in 15 to 20 just for this year. This Lady Gaga tee looked kind of sick to me, so I ended up getting it. It is a size XL. Nice little piece in the front. If people are gonna want this. Let's get this money, at least 10 to 15 for it. At another yard sale, it was a dollar. You already know, Scorpions, forever and a day. It's a DVD piece. Y'all see them right in the back right there. Super cool piece, it's staying with your boy. Also another one, got the Pink Floyd, the wall. This is a crazy looking piece right in the front right here. Uh, and you know, you know I collect things like this. Good DVD, so I ended up collecting it. Here's the other one I got. It is still sealed. It was $5 each, guys. You already know that's a good deal. Let's get this money. This right here was a dollar. Got an older tag of NBA. We got the Phoenix Suns, guys. And then we also got on the back Shaquille O'Neal, Shaq Attack, right in the back. Guys, we ended up picking these two controllers up for uh, $10 for both. You already know Xbox One controllers always bring in about 15 to $25 each. And these are like in really good condition, just missing the caps in the back. 
I probably would do a bundle with one of those uh, controller things that could charges it and make uh, 50 bucks uh, and get some money out of this. And it pay off most of these things that I end up buying. But these two controllers, at least going for $20 each. Got this jersey right here, guys. It's a Nike jersey, uh, Copperstown collection, size XL. I do not know who that is in the front, but check it out. He look like a little Caesars guy, all embroidered. It's, this says XL, but man, this looks like way bigger than XL. And here's a couple other pieces that I ended up getting at a yard sale. The most craziest piece was probably this here. Uh, older uh, Spider-Man tee right here, size XL. And you know what? Uh, I, this should at least bring in $15 just for that. This one right here was cool. It's got all these monsters right in the front, like if they're a band, I'm gonna zoom in real quick so y'all can see it. Sorry guys about the lighting, but you know what? I wanna give y'all a video so y'all see what's going on. Uh, we got Boston Red Sox, a Nike dry fit tee. This is a perfect piece. They should at least bring in $10 just for that. You already know, Anima Vestra, you already know y'all liking this one right here. Shout outs to you and the Patriots, guys. Let's, uh, this piece is at least go for at least about 10 bucks just for this right here. Got a little Spider-Man piece. This is a newer one, but I just like that graphics. And I still see somebody wanted to buy this at least for 10 bucks. This Wolverine is a newer piece, but check it out. I just like the graphics and that it had like those uh, Asian letters, Chinese letters right on the top. Yo, that is all the stuff we ended up getting, guys. I appreciate you guys even tuning in. We're gonna go home, get something to eat and catch some rest. We'll see you guys in the next video. Like and subscribe. Shout outs to you guys. Uh, we're almost to 400 subscribers. Let's get these numbers up. This is your boy, ET Got Vintage, and I'm out.